You're watching Crim 2 Morning News. Welcome back, everyone. Well, what started out as a dream quickly turned into reality. Primatologist Maria Mayer is here with us this morning. And you're in town for National Geographic Live event. That is tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what people can expect if they're going to be at the event tonight. Sure. Well, I'm a bit of an enigma. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wear many hats. I'm a National Geographic Explorer. I'm a primatologist. I'm a scientist. I'm an author. And uh, tonight I'm going to be sharing stories behind the scenes of filming with National Geographic, some of my craziest wildlife encounters in, in some very remote areas around the world. And hopefully, you know, people will be inspired, you know, to care more about the planet and get out there. And how did you become inspired to do that? Because your your background is not necessarily all related. Right, so that's thing. where the enigma part comes in. <laughs> so I was a former NFL cheerleader, and actually even predating that, I was the only daughter to Cuban immigrants, so they were very overprotective. I wasn't allowed to go camping when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> and I took an anthropology class in college, and I just fell in love with, uh, with primates. Uh, there were so many on the verge of extinction that had never been studied. And I thought, right, I want to go out there and I want to try and make a difference. And you've done a lot of traveling around the world. Uh -huh. uh, I have, yes. <laughs> is there a, a favorite spot of yours? There are so many favorites, but you know, I've spent most of my adult life in the jungles of Madagascar, uh, Congo, Rwanda, and I think probably those three really are it for me. Mm -hmm. If you have one experience that sticks out in your mind as just the coolest experience that made you realize this is what I'm meant to be doing in life. Is there one that sticks out for you? Oh my goodness, a and again, so many, but one of my favorite um, is something that I could have never anticipated, which was co-discovering the world's smallest primate in Madagascar. I mean, this tiny little lemur fits in the palm of your hands, oh. weighs less than two ounces, and it made such a difference for the people and wildlife of Madagascar, because once we made this discovery, National Geographic came, filmed it, documented it, and I was able to take these photographs, uh, the footage, to the president and prime minister of Madagascar, who then declared the area a national park. So this tiny little um, creature became a huge ambassador for all things wild in Madagascar. And I'm guessing that kind of helps you send the message to people who want to come out tonight that they have the same ability that you oh, do to, to help the environment. Absolutely. I think there's this notion that, you know, we kind of know everything that's out there and there's still places that, um, you know, or that everywhere has been explored. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. Every single one of us has the power and the ability to make a difference. Right. And so what other things will you be talking about tonight? Just sharing some of your different experiences along the way, like this discovery you just mentioned? I'll talk about the discovery. I'll talk about very, very hair-raising uh, encounters with, uh, you know, silverback gorillas. Wait, you have to tell us about that. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been charged by 400-pound male silverback gorillas more Ooh. times than I care to count. Yeah. Yeah. But there have been particular scenarios where it was very, very close. So they weren't just bluffing. <laughs> um, and and then I survived a plane crash in, in Congo and wow. ended up in a brothel, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a story you'll share tonight. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so just to let people know, that show is at 7 p.m. at the First Interstate Center for the Arts. Um, and uh, you, this is just part of the National Geographic Live uh, series. So uh, what do you kind of do in anticipation for an event like this? Have you just kind of collected your uh, experiences? Do you keep a diary with you? So I, of course, I keep a journal everywhere mm -hmm. I go, and I have a book called Pink Boots and a Machete, which documents a lot of this. But you know, my, my favorite part of all of this is to be able to share these experiences, of course, in the tradition of these gorgeous National Geographic photographs, mm -hmm. um, the, the video footage, to kind of really transport people into these amazing places with these incredible creatures. Well, you will be continuing this conversation <laughs> tonight. Yes. Folks can come out and see you. Thank you so much Thank for getting you. up early mm -hmm. and sharing some of your experiences with us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. It is right. 748 now. We'll be right back. <laughs>